Hi, and welcome to European Youth Conference in Prague. Here in Quebec, young people from all around Europe gather to discuss important issues which were chosen for the ninth cycle of the EU Youth Dialogue, inclusive societies and sustainable green Europe. Over the course of the next three days, participants will engage in workshops, interact with EU representatives and discuss possible solutions. Uh, yeah, the European Year of Youth was launched by the European Commission and the idea uh, came after a long uh, epidemic of COVID-19 where the young generation was uh, very um, influenced and affected by the long epidemic and uh, the, the main purpose of the year is to give space young people to express themselves and to stress uh, all opportunities and activities where they can participate. Well, this conference is actually like one of the steps in the EU Youth Dialogue. It's actually the second major step in this concrete ninth cycle of the uh, EU Youth Dialogue. And the main idea of this conference is actually to elaborate on the mid-term report. The mid-term report is what is based on the data that uh, national working groups have submitted. And me and Dan Moxon, my colleague and researcher, we have put together a report which summarizes what has been submitted back to us. And now here at this conference, we are giving again the space to young people to elaborate even more on what they have in mind, what could be done better, what should even be done better in the future. Well, I've been working in the group on governance today so far, and one of the things they're focusing on a lot is how, when young people ask for something or demand something at an event or a conference like this, how does the follow-up happen? How do we make sure that polit politicians and civil servants keep the promises and the commitments they make, and how do we hold them to account? So I think that's one of the really interesting things. I'm here in the role of a policymaker, which means that uh, the ideas uh, that are devised by people here at the conference uh, are then getting feedback by actual policymakers uh, at the position at the city council or at the national level, and we discuss with them uh, the feasibility of their projects. I was invited as an expert, well, a policymaker. Uh, I used to be a youth worker as well. Nowadays I'm a member of the parliament, so I came in both roles. I have the experience in the youth work, and as well I'm a policymaker today. Well, we've been speaking about uh, mobility and as well uh, solidarity towards young people and especially about disadvantaged youth. It was fun, it was interesting, it was definitely a long-term project, so you need to set aside quite some time to actually make it happen. But the team is super great, people in there are very dedicated to making things happen and to not only make it happen, but to make it a success, so definitely worth it. Uh, we started somewhat of a year ago to really with the first meetings with the first brainstorming and then you know the ideas get more and more concrete and uh, yeah, it took us more or less a year. So we're working on solidarity and mobility, so we're kind of thinking about how can we make young people travel and move around more, uh, but in a very inclusive way so that uh, people with fewer opportunities can also join and they can kind of like learn more about how to care uh, for sustainability, how to get good practice from other countries and um, how to connect. So my workshop is about, uh, like it has two main focuses, first of all how to make the needs and interests of young people really present in the decision making process process and then the second one is the focus of how to involve all of the generations into discussing and deciding on the topics that are really important for all the generations yeah so not to be closed within the bubbles and discuss only within adults within the youth who is the future youth is the present as it was said today so this is really about um, about connecting different generations to talk about our 
common future. I enjoyed the conference very much. Um, I'm excited to meet so many young people, but not only, also people from the ministries, NGOs, who came together again, luckily, to cooperate uh, face to face, which is really beneficial. Uh, I enjoyed the conference while there were many things, many important topics that were discussed in this cycle. Uh, it was very intensive, uh, discussing in the workshops about what shall be done, reviewing uh, the best practices from the member states and seeing how they, they can be implemented and what are the causes and mechanisms that lead to each and every uh, practice or idea being implemented in practice and of course what troubles may it face in practice. So this is important in order to, you know, to ensure the best uh, environment for, for the youth and of course for the others. Oh, I've been great fun having actually physical people to talk to and not just uh, all the Zoom squares with a little name. This was very uh, great. It's my first conference face to face and I enjoyed the things and I sharing ideas and feeling like so better. It was really nice to meet all of the people. I was just saying to my colleague that it really helped to get to know more people uh, throughout the, the days and spending time talking and discussing also outside of the plenary. Don't feel discouraged, don't feel sad. Uh, of course, the change uh, process is, uh, is long, is slow, is much slower than we would like to, but um, it doesn't matter if you start, if you keep pushing, if you keep uh, believing in your ideas, if you keep acting, then things are gonna change. So don't, um, don't feel sad or don't feel uh, discouraged that things are not changing as fast as you would like to. I would like to enhance uh, young people not to be afraid and not to be shy to be just human beings and feel what they feel express what they are feeling and trust in themselves and really go for your values the event today is an example of the fact that there is a dialogue we have here young people that are unorganized we have people from youth organizations we have here young policy makers and you do see that they do speak i, I mean i've been to one group but there was i think there were four another groups uh, it seems to me that the dialogue here works uh, myself I'm myself as a member of parliament trying to involve young people i have a very young support team uh, i'm trying to speak with the young, with the local parliaments youth parliaments so i think that the dialogue is there uh, of course we need as well inclusion inclusion to youth policy decisions for example so you hear the young people and the fact that young people be heard and they have the possibility to, to act and be part of the change i think that's the most important thing and today i think what i've seen here this is happening and uh, i wouldn't say this is a bright future but i think this is a good start uh, as many of the stars that i've seen it is a good venue it's good feeling here and i believe that the experience that young people take from here will empower them and they will be the part of the change so that was it. Three days of inspirational speakers, new ideas, thoughts, cooperation, new friendships being made and most importantly, youth dialogue. If you care about issues all around you, are interested in European policy making and are between 16 and 30 years old, don't hesitate and join us.